Well, it happened. I'm in love. We all knew someday it would happen, and that day is here. I'm in love with Pad Thai, <laughs> Thailand. This place is incredible. I've been here before, and um, yeah, I could never see myself living here. It's, uh, if not the most debaucherous city in the world, it is one of the most. There's strip clubs, there's thousands of prostitutes, massage parlors, drugs, there's a party 24 seven. Anything you want, anytime you want it, you can find it here. This place makes Las Vegas look like the Vatican. And yeah, no way would ever consider living here. That is until this trip. My friend from high school, she's been living here for years and she's been showing me around. And I've seen a completely different side of this city. One right on top of that hill over there. And wow, I love it. Beautiful, affordable, luxury living, luxury condos, great restaurants, quiet, safe neighborhoods, beautiful views, beautiful beaches. And not only do I think I could live there, I want to live there. It's beautiful and I'm in love. In this series, I'm going to show you why I feel this way, what changed my mind. I'm going to take you from the gutter, the underbelly, all the way to the top of that hill. So if you're interested in what it's like in Pattaya, Thailand, subscribe, hit that bell, Let's get started. So last week, I posted a video on Ayala Mall in Cebu City, Philippines. And I was pleasantly surprised how popular it was. And after thinking about it, I realized I probably have a lot of expats that watch my channel or a lot of people that are considering being an expat. So why would you not be interested in what it's like, like to shop in another country? So in this series, let's kick it off here at the Central Mall, connected to the Hilton. And I'll show you what shopping is like here in Pattaya. And right off the bat, you can see we have a McDonald's. And this is just a random mall, the Central Mall. It's on the beach. It's connected to the Hilton and so far, it looks very nice. Fruit stall right here in the mall. This is beautiful. And here we have fish balls and sausages, different types of vegetables. Here we have different types of chicken options, sushi style options, and everything looks so delicious. A pomegranate juice. All kinds of delicious looking vegetables and this goes on and on. Now here we have a ton of food options, not just Thai. There's some Singapore dishes, chicken nuggets. And we have pizza, some Italian, different types of soups. Very nice. Very nice place. <clears throat> Lots of people here enjoying the dishes. Let's head on up a level. I guess there's a beach bikini race. That looks like a lot of fun. All right, this mall has opened up to a huge, huge, multi-story atrium. Here we have Crocs, Liverpool, different jewelry, luggage. Hello. My feet don't need any fixing. Lots of jewelry options. Leather goods, very inexpensive prices. So this belt is about $6. About $6 for a new 
leather wallet. Great, great prices. The food here is incredibly inexpensive. You wouldn't believe the type of condo you can get for under $1,000 here. It's absolutely beautiful buildings with beautiful units. And let's continue up. Up this giant maze of escalators. A lot of glasses, sunglass stuff. And more leather goods and shoes. Now you'll notice there are a lot of expats here. It's, um, I didn't understand it at first, first time I was visiting, but now on this trip, it makes sense. There's some really beautiful parts of this city once you get out of what the locals call the grotto. And it looks like if we continue this way, we can get a nice view of the ocean. Coffee shop, sloppies, some relaxing chairs, cloud nine. 10 minutes for 60 cents. Not bad. Wow, check this out. You can see a ton of boats and parasailers. Some more high rise condos over there, the beach, and over here. You can see the hill that has the beautiful neighborhood that I fell in love with. A lot of people enjoying some coffee, enjoying the AC. It does get hot here. But being from Florida, I'm very used to it. Just get yourself some AC, you'll be fine. It's a pharmacy here in the mall. And here we have some condo pre-sales. This looks beautiful. Although I don't feel like getting a sales pitch right now. But maybe we'll go tour some uh, condos on this uh, stay. Leave a comment if you would find that interesting. And we'll see if we can make it happen. We have money exchange right here. Right here in the mall. Multiple ATMs. Money's very easy here. English is very widely spoken. I haven't had really any problems with communicating with people. I was here for Halloween and it was a, an absolute blast. The city went crazy. Now, unlike my video in uh, the Philippines in the mall, it does not appear to be any, um, any uh, prostitutes in here. Certainly were some in the Philippines. But here we have a Korean barbecue, which looks incredible. So we continue on our journey. I have no idea what I'm looking at. I'm sure it's sweet and delicious.
So basically anything you want that you have back home is available here and it's right at your fingertips. I don't really see what the sacrifice is. Beautiful beaches, beautiful views, great launching point for many excursions. Cambodia is only two and a half hour drive away. Four hours you could be in Angkor Wat. And here we have a conveyor belt sushi restaurant, which if you've never been, it's actually fun. It's a blast. I mean, get a good shot here of some sushi going by. So you just wait at your table, and when you see something you like that goes by, you grab it, eat, and then at the end, end of your dining experience, you just put your plates into this receptacle, it adds up your bill, and you pay right there at the table. It's a crazy cool experience. And here we have more restaurants, even nicer looking restaurants in the food court. More Korean food, ice cream, and that looks fantastic. That's making me hungry. So many options here. Here we have steaks. Here we have a view looking down on this crazy mall here in Thailand. Wow, and here we have a, another conveyor belt restaurant, but this one, so there's a sushi buffet here. Everyone has like a little steamed hot pot. So it's a hot pot conveyor belt sushi restaurant, kind of Korean, I'd say Japanese. So many dining options up here. And here we have different types of ramen, tempura ramens. And again, the prices are incredibly reasonable. All, pretty much any entree under $10 more probably average of six seven dollars for an entree in a nice restaurant like that here we have a lot of games we have a movie theater we have video games let's go take a look at this theater and this is very very nice this is much nicer than uh, any theater i have back home at my house and uh, i'm not up to date on movies so i don't know if these are new releases or not, but here's what's playing. There's a bar, full liquor. And here we have a bowling alley. So here on the top floor of this mall, we have a bowling alley. This might be the nicest bowling alley I've ever seen. Look how beautiful it is. It's nice and clean, it doesn't smell like a moldy, dingy cigarette bowling alley does back home. This is very nice. And then we have pool tables, another bar, full liquor. All right, I'm working my way back down there. I'm gonna probably stop off at some food place, but I'm uh, gonna close this out. And this was the opening video and why I think Pattaya is one of the most livable overseas, overseas destination there is. And we're gonna be covering a lot more of it. So if you are interested, please subscribe. And we'll see you again soon.